Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to override windmill insert dependencies with custom dependency files. So first of all, let me show you how it normally works with windmill. So here we have a script and windmill automatically reserves the dependency from the import line. As you can see here on the screen, we can also pin a dependency version to have windmill run this version. Okay. So now let's show you another method that you can use locally. So as you can see here, we have four folders with the same scripts for three of them and a package.json. Each package.json has a dedicated version. As you can see, folder three has no package.json, but the parent one of all has one. And just to show you, we have also a Python script with a requirement.txt. Okay. So now, at the workspace level, we'll run a winning like command, win with script generate metadata, that we generate log files and YAMLs for each of our scripts. And winmill will find the closest package.json or requirement.txt to generate a log file for each script. So as you can see in folder three, for example, our log version was the one of the parent folder. For all the other scripts, it uses the version of the closest package.json, which is the one of their folder. So we'll rerun the script, and as you can see, the version has not changed until we have toggled use current flock file in Wilmin VS Code extension. And as you can see, it was updated. And for each of these scripts, the version has indeed changed. So as you can see, for folder three, it uses the version of the package.json at the top folder level because it doesn't have a dedicated package.json at its folder. And it works exactly the same for Python scripts and requirement.txt. As you can see, the version is the same indeed. Okay, so now let's push it to a windmill workspace. So we'll create a blank new workspace. Let's call it dependency test. So Workspace is empty and we'll add it to our CLI with command will mill workspace add name of the workspace, ID of the workspace and remote URL. Okay, the workspace was indeed added. So now let's push our local workspace with command will mill sync push. Okay, it seems to have worked. Let's refresh the workspace. We have our scripts and let's run to see what happens. Okay, so for this script, we have version 17.13. And for folder two, we have version 17.13. That's perfect. Thanks for watching this tutorial and see you soon on Windmill.